What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is November 25th, 2022, aka Black Friday. So, hopefully, you got all your shopping in. I didn't really do any shopping, but in the meantime, there has been a new driver update for some ancient hardware. Well, I say ancient, but it's not ancient. Some people are actually still using these graphics cards. Um, but yeah, let's jump over to the article and take a look at it. Uh, I believe it's 600 and 700 series G4 stuff. And back in the day, some of the designs were actually pretty cool. I want to take a look at those cards after we, we read the article. Because man, man, oh man. Okay, so this is over on WCCF Tech. Shout out to those guys. Always keeping it real. NVIDIA's decade-old Kepler G4 700 and 600 series GPUs receive a new driver to address vulnerabilities. So, by the way, we're, we're, I want to look at more of these older graphics cards for you guys. Um, I grew up, like, with older stuff than this, obviously, but uh, a lot of these cards I wasn't able to afford, like a 690. I wasn't, a bit, I wasn't able to afford that, but this was a bad Mamma Jammer card. Um, and they had some pretty cool designs, in my opinion. Like they, they especially the AIB card strayed off into more wild areas where they don't really do that anymore. It's a little bit more sleek nowadays. But um, yeah, the uh, the decade old Kepler GPUs 600 and 700 series have received their first driver update to fix two critical vulnerabilities. This critical update will ensure that the vulnerabilities that allow users the exploited ability to push malicious codes to PCs would be removed for good. Um, the two malicious attacks, CVE-2022-3602 and CVE-2022-3786, have significantly affected the 10-year-old GPU series. NVIDIA's Kepler architecture, released in 2012, holy smokes, it is 10 years old already. Um, and her, that was after I got out of high school, so, um, wow. Wow. But they introduced the GTX 680, which marked a big return to form in the efficiency and performance department for the green team. In a previous statement, NVIDIA assured users of the above series GPUs that NVIDIA would continue to offer the support until 2024 when they officially retwi retire the Kepler architecture. The GeForce Game Ready driver support ended back in October of 2021. Oh, wow, that's it's crazy to think that they got support for that long already um the affected gpu geforce 700 and 600 graphics card are listed below uh 690 680s 670s 660s looks like all the way down to gt 630s and then the 780 ti's all the way down to the 710s which actually i have a few 730s that i, I use for like display cards just for throwing in computers for testing and then the titan Titan Black and Titan Z. Those cards were awesome, by the way. The Titans were Titans of their day, of their day, but now they're just eh. But uh, at the beginning of November, several platforms, including Linux, were found to be carrying the two specific exploits. Open SSL three, the cryptographic based library focused on a network connected utilization, was the original point of impact. The vulnerabilities affected mail servers and open source VPN protocols, such as OpenVPN. Network product devices, container images, and embedded based systems utilized Open SSL. The National Cyber Security Center, Netherlands branch, or NCSCNL has listed the software that may or may not currently be affected by the recent vulnerabilities. In the group's continued investigation, 46 software titles are involved out of a list of well over 100 affected products, most found in Linux packages or server software titles. It's a good thing that NVIDIA is offering a fix for this vulnerability for users who are still running the Kepler GPUs inside their systems. I'm guessing this is probably like, like more business related stuff because i don't think anybody's still gaming on a kepler gpu and maybe they still are i mean i don't know how that would do nowadays um suppose readers are concerned that their software product is vulnerable to attack uh, or would like to see the complete list of applications under investigation by the ncscnl in case you can find that complete list of open ssl software on the group's github page 
For the interested in learning more about the 2022 OpenSSL vulnerability, you can check out the GitHub page explaining the vulnerability and links to the additional sites with more information. So I will put the link to this article down below if you want to check that out and want to check that stuff. Um, if you're not running a 600 or 700 series card, you're good. If you are running one, you're probably still good too, honestly. Looks like it's more of like a Linux-based issue, but um, yeah, you're probably... If you're still running an, an, a super old card like that by choice, I doubt you're doing anything too crazy on it. It's probably just an old junk computer or, uh, I don't know, I don't know, just something old and extra. But let's, uh, I wanted to show you guys, first of all, a GTX Titan Black. Always wanted one of these cards, like, for a hot minute. This was probably one of my favorite cards. And look, it looks so familiar. It kind of looks like a 1080 Ti. This was like the 1080 Ti before the 1080 Ti kind of thing. Um, I loved this cooler design, and obviously it it transferred on further. Um, but but I, let's let's look up some. Um, what was it the 680? 680 was huge in its day. Um, where's all the cool looking ones? Man, there were some cool cards. Okay, like look at MSI. They're literally just pasting some some crazy clip art on the side it may be an older generation of card that literally oh look at that that 680 what's that look like anybody play tarkov <laughs> looks that's i think that might be the gpu from tarkov maybe it's similar um it might be older generation cards that literally would have like scantily clad women on them and maybe the 6 and 700 series was the when it started to transfer over into more like sleek modest yeah look at this evga that thing is ugly huh well i guess not uh see there's one like they'll they would have like full graphic art on the side of them there you go that's what i'm talking about see look at this it's literally got some like first person shooter guys on the side of it just laying it down um and that's how graphics cards used to be like there was literally art on them nowadays you you ain't gonna find no you ain't, you ain't going to find people, guns and, and SWAT team guys shooting on the side of a graphics card. And maybe they need to go back to that. I'd be down for that. Like the PNY Accelerate series. Those are pretty cool, but I guess they look very basic today. Oh, here you go. A Sparkle card. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Sparkle 680 Dragon. Literally has a dragon breathing fire on it. And that thing probably did actually breathe fire out of the sock, like the socket, because they ran a little warm. Um, I don't know. I guess that's the notable mentions for right now. What about 780? Let's look up 780 Ti. The 780 Ti. That was like the big boy for the 7 Series. 780 Ti. I mean, that's kind of, the Founders kind of looks like a 1080 Ti. These were three gigabyte cards. Mm. Yeah, pretty uninteresting. This is the Zotac generation that I remember. The the orange fans and the black shrouds. I'm glad they've kind of gone away with that, gone away from that color scheme because it was recognizable, but not in a good way. Oh yeah, PNY. All right. Well, before we get off here. Let's look at coin market cap real quick and see what the market's doing. Just right off the top, Bitcoin, $16,623. It looks a little stagnant. It's up 0.8% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum, $1,216, up 2.5% in the last day. Uh, Ripple, well, sorry, not Ripple, XRP. People get all mad when I say that. XRP, $0.40. Cents. It's up 3.5% in the last 24 hours. Dogecoin, nine cents 9.2 cents actually to get a little more technical it's up 12.3 percent in the last day so big gains on dogecoin litecoin 75 dollars 32 cents down three percent in the last 24 hours going further down we're going to grab our etc or ethereum classic 20 dollars 39 cents up 2.9 percent and then monero good old xmr $137, and it is up 1% in the last 24 hours. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
I hope you ate enough on Thanksgiving. If you didn't have Thanksgiving, I'm sorry about that. If you don't know what Thanksgiving is, over here in the U.S., I'm not even going to tell you about what it actually is, but what we do now, we get, a, we get family together, and we eat a lot. That's what happens now. So, yeah. And then the day after that, is, we call it Black Friday, and that's when a lot of stores like put stuff for sale and we go buy it. So you go eat a bunch, and then you go walk it off and buy stuff you don't need. You're welcome. Anyway, y'all have a good night. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.